Are Israel and Palestine on the brink of another war? A lot has happened since our last show, since our show last night. Israeli planes have hit Gaza. Missiles have been fired into Israel from Gaza. You see, it all began with an Israeli police raid on Al-Aqsa Mosque. Let me add, a raid during the holy month of Ramzan. Let's begin with what happened in the pre-dawn hours of this morning. That is the time when those who fast are eating the morning meal, the only one before sunset. Israeli police stormed into Al-Aqsa Mosque. Why? Well, the answer depends on whom you ask. Israel says its security forces were forced to enter the prayer halls because some masked agitators, quote-unquote, barricaded themselves inside the mosque. They point to an agreement that worshippers cannot stay inside the mosque overnight during Ramzan. The worshippers tell another story. So there was an exchange of stun grenades and firecrackers between the police and the protesters. Hundreds of Palestinians were arrested. At least 14 of them were also injured. And soon videos emerged of Israeli forces beating the worshippers. Weon has not been able to independently verify this video, but we can tell you that videos like these are in wide circulation on social media. The word spread. Soon protests broke out in West Bank. Palestinians reportedly began burning tires and throwing rocks at Israeli soldiers. The point is, violent clashes are not rare in the Al-Aqsa Mosque. But what not many saw coming was a storming during the holy month of Ramzan, especially given what had happened in the year 2021. I'm of course referring to the 10-day war. It was triggered by a similar clash at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound during Ramadan. What happened earlier today was not only in the middle of Ramzan, but also on the eve of Jewish Passover holiday. In response, Hamas fired rockets into Israel from the Gaza Strip. Just have a look at these visuals. In fact, reports say five to nine rockets were fired. The country's Iron Dome intercepted most of these rockets and there were no reports of casualty. But that did not stop Israel from retaliating. The Israeli army has released this video. It shows planes striking what it claims are Hamas weapon production sites. Hamas radio claims that at least two training camps were hit, one in the Gaza city and the second one in a refugee camp. Reuters reports that Israeli tanks also shelled Hamas positions along the border fence. As I speak, a cleanup is underway in Jerusalem's holy compound. But the worst may not be over because anger is still very much boiling in both Gaza. may explain why the neighborhood has reacted so sharply to all that's been happening. Saudi Arabia has issued a statement saying the raid in Al-Aqsa is detrimental to peace efforts. And then you have Egypt saying it condemns Israeli police's storming of Al-Aqsa in the strongest term. But here's what the neighborhood needs to remember. This is the Israeli police under the command of hardliner Itamar ben -Guer. This is a hardline government where you have a defense minister who is threatening to hit anyone. 